After almost six months, hair salons and massage studios are now permitted to operate outdoors in the city of San Francisco. CBSN producer Gene Song spoke with barbering industry professionals who are relieved to see the city tapering restrictions. From food trucks to now barber chairs, Soma Street Food Park is opening its grounds to the Barber Collective. We're very, very excited to get back to work, see our clients again, uh, get that kind of interaction. Because without it for about, for six months, you feel like you know, you're kind of holed up and you've been doing something for years, uh, very used to it. And then you kind of see yourself day to day going, man, I can't go back to work. I can't go back to work as much as I want to. Once they got the green light to operate outdoors, San Francisco Barbershop co-owner Chris Diaz teamed up with Carlos Muela of Soma Street Food Park. We're a very dense city, so, you know, this whole idea when they said, oh, you guys can just operate outdoors, was the barbers like, in San Francisco, were like, no, we can't. Like, what, are we going to set up on a sidewalk? Like, no way. So us having this great outdoor space is just a huge asset uh, for them. To make the process as contactless as possible, Diaz and Muela have been working with the tech platform Squire. It specifically services barbershops. Song Laran is a co-founder and CEO. A lot of our customers, um, being the barbershops, were essentially not able to operate and they weren't able to make any revenue. So at that point, we really started focusing on delivering products and services that could help them um, during this COVID process while they're shut down and then hope them help them reopen uh, safely. That includes gift card features, virtual waiting rooms, and COVID-19 waiver forms. We think that barbershops are, are really, you know, pivotal to communities, uh, the bedrock of many communities. Most men are closer to their barber than they are to their doctor uh, or, you know, other professionals who they may see. Uh, so that's a very uh, kind of sacred relationship. Uh, you know, many of them are pseudotherapists. Uh, um, they, they offer all types of advice. Um, part of their job is not only cutting hair, but building that relationship, listening to their clients, and really just being there for them. On top of that, for Diaz, the Barber Collective has become a greater fight for the livelihood of his community. We're, we're combating this virus in different ways. So uh, we're not going to just sit back and say, hey, look, we're going to take this one lying down. Uh, we, we came up with this and we're figuring, hey, look, whether things get bad or worse, we're, we're ready for it. It's a sentiment that Laurent shares with Diaz. I think about all that uh, all this country's been through. I look at you know things that you know my community's been through uh, in this country, and, and I know that uh, in a sense we've been through worse, so we'll get through this. This is the challenge of our generation, and every generation ha has theirs, and they meet the moment. And, and I have full confidence we will as well, and and uh, I try to be op optimistic about it. 